Damn it, I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. I don't even I don't even know your brother. Next two hours. hours. Get used to it. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince. Justin's gonna make me. It's too hot for this shit. Vince, I'm making him hot now. Yeah, Danny, you're making me hot. Oh, shit! Come on, Vince. Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The window. Hey, falls. Justin. That shit ain't See right, that guy man. in the beat up that truck? Ain't right. I'll bet he Shut lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. Okay, you were falsely accused. Nobody's judging you here, man. Yeah, the judge took care of that. My lawyer's gonna be hearing Tell about you what, this. Guys, he gonna I have your afraid to say it. Jobs when he I'm hears really about this. missing my girlfriend right now. You I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse swear, than that, you man. She won't talk to me. I haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but you know. I love her, man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. You know, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from White Collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey, how about some water back here? Shut I up thought you back took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit man, and tell them you didn't know what you were up, doing? Or I'll set you I up. I lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? No, nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. Oh, give me a break. It's a tough call. Why do more time than you need to? Gotta stay clean, man. Says the criminal. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, uh... A pyramid scheme. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy! Oh, <clears throat> when we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? 
You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. I killed some assholes. Whoa, damn. He's not lying. Are you? And how do you know? Like I said, I'm good at lying. And he's not. Dead serious. Damn, man. How'd they get you? <clears throat> Tossed the gun up on a roof. And? It was a good throw, and a roofer found it the next day. You, know you what gotta be is. kidding me. This is cool man, you're bad luck, Vince. Punishment, man. Bad Violate luck, Vince! My motherfucking <laughs> That's not I'm bad. You, man. What do you think, Shut Justin? Fuck up. What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck it? You. Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Oh, oh shit! Man. What the hell is going on, Red back tree, there? knock it off! Hey, get in there, man! Sit down, goddammit! They just need to work it out. They're doing more than working it out. Hey, Damn it, Crab Tree! Don't let me come back there! He's gonna kill him, Vince! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Motherfucker! Vince, you're the tough guy here. We gotta get in there, right? I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's your empathy, man? Where's your Jesus common fucking sense? You can't do anything with these damn chains on. Shit! Crabtree, I'm warning you one He's last time, man. Goddammit. You gotta get, get in there. Get yourself in there and wait that shit up, on, man. Come on, boy, get back there. Okay, asshole, let him go. Get in between them, goddammit. He's gonna kill that boy. Crabtree? Last what warning. Are you for? Knock him out. Go, goddammit. What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy! Answer me back there! That guy's there. still alive! Get those cuffs off him, man! What the hell was that? He... he made a move on me! I... I, I don't know! He's still breathing? He's, uh... Fuck! Fuck! You gotta call someone, man! What? I'm calling this in! Don't! Don't call it in yet. Just, just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute. You killed that guy. You gotta deal with it, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Shut up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth. Okay, okay, calm down. Take it easy. Quit waving that thing around before you get someone else killed. Oh, you gonna get smart with me now? Vince, it's okay. Just back off. We all need to take it down a notch. You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Thanks, man. What the fuck? You hear me? We need to... Did he just bail on us? Oh, Jesus. What the hell, man? Back up, back up. Fuck! 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 He can't reach us. You sure about that? That ankle's gonna get... Shit! What do you think, Vince? Come on! We gotta do something! Find a weapon. Right, man. Yeah. Where's the guard's gun? Yeah. Yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? I think he fell on it. It's underneath him. Oh, fuck me. Get the gun, man. Get up, Vince. Hurry up. Shoot this asshole, Vince. Do it. It, man. Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. What are you doing? 
doing? Can't do anything until we get out of these damn chains. Maybe he's got the keys on him. Nothing. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, Hey, don't. buddy! What the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking fuck you, man. We gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! Chambers threw that loop as well as before. Take out the window! Whoa, whoa, watch it! Ain't gonna work! Need those keys. How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way! Can't we just... shoot off the chains? No way! Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out! Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's foot? Well, what do you think is gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun! We gotta do this! Back off! Vince! What? I'm sorry, man. Fuck you! Do it! Hurry! Justin's just gonna slow you down. Do it again! Come on, let's go! Did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Or shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Just... Hurry up, Eddie! Here, man. Shoot! Dude, take this thing. Get him, man! Are they there or not? Come on! Maybe they crashed? Did you hear a crash? Did you hear a crash? No. No, I didn't. Here, here. I'll turn off. Feel that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole, I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. I can't see a damn thing out here. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, Wyatt. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please, this road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He is fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. What if there's something in the road? Doesn't matter. We gotta get the fuck away from those guys. They are A-grade fucking mental. Let there be light, huh? Dude, shut up. 
See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. You think we're in the clear? Not till we get out of this fog. Is that a pun? No. When did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Really? See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her. And she told me that when she was five, I think. Her dad took her to the circus sideshow. They walked around for a while. Saw the chick with two heads. Saw a dude with lobster hands. Some kind of monkey human with a dick for a face. I think loading the gun is probably more important right this second. Thanks. Okay. Weird, but okay. Shit! Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. It didn't look human. Alive. Whatever. Really? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Look me in the eyes and say that. You heard me, Eddie. <coughs> Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll like tell us one way or the other. That way we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. <coughs> Roll it down broken? I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. What's that way out in the road? It's part of his shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Seriously, you think some piece of that guy made it into the glove box? Man, I don't know. Look, Wyatt, it was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't pay for sex drunk, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. What about the guys in the truck? Man, fuck those guys. If that guy back there is alive, we have to help him, Wyatt. There ain't a lot of live dudes left these days. We can't just hang out here all night. Out and back in. That's all I'm talking about. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there. We check it out, we get moving. Both of us? I mean, I don't know. Me? I hit the fucking guy. One of us should stay here though, in case. Okay. Well... Shit, okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Fine. Okay, cool. Good. This is good. We need to hurry up. You ready? Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. Alright, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Fuck! What are the chances of that? Okay. One, two, three, go. Shit, man. <laughs>
insane. Okay, again, one, two, three, go. Man, okay, all right. One, two, three, go. Rock your scissors, dude. Eddie. Yeah, sorry. Got caught up. Son of a bitch. All right. I got this. Be careful, dude. Great backpack if you could tell me if your owner was alive or not. Alright, I guess I'll just keep talking to myself out here because that makes sense. What the fuck is taking so long? Hurry up! at the end of it. Hey, man. You okay? Fella? You need to answer me, man. If you're a dude, I don't want to shoot you. Oh, shit. Are you okay? Uh, sir? Can you, can you hear me? Looks like he's pretty out of it. Damn it, man, are you gonna be all right? Fucking help me out! Man, this guy's a cop. Cop, please be okay. Okay, uh... Ugh. Fuck it. All right, let's get your ass to the car.
I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Shit, bro. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't... What's your name? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Because you steal from me and I'll get your throat out. I don't care who you run around with, you understand? Mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise and I'm bored. Come on, scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I'd like a ride. That'd be good. Thanks. Hell yeah! Get in! Let's tear it up! I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she likes to party? Just get in. We'll get there. Or somewhere. Eventually. <coughs> Name's Nate, by the way. Thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? Is this the fucking apocalypse? This is like... nothing. No, I'm just good, alright? Alright, alright. You wanna tell me about where you come from, at least? <clears throat> Must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. Sure, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you about who I was with. Don't leave out any juicy deets, all right? Huh. <laughs> uh, okay. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They're all at my grand's down in <coughs> Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. If we found survivors, it was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take their stuff or what? Then bang! You're dead! <coughs> anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? A strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rat? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever? Come on. 
All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, kill one to ten. What do you think? Ah, oh, slamming before she's dropped, right? Ding! Come here, get a look. Like a nine, right? Get out of here! Maybe you're not high standard. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I. Right. Oh shit! Go! Get out! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! Okay, get ready! Don't stop running! And keep your head down! Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. Alright, what are we gonna do? First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Down! See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. Alright, yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Just keep pushing! Shit! Push! Uh, uh, End of the road! What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously this time. I'm not fucking around. Yeah, no problem. Easy as pie. Just don't get shot. If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. I'll cover you. You go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Cover my ass now. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! All right, throw me the gun and I'll cover you. Go! Good job! Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go! Oh, oh. You saved my life. Whatever. We got more work to do. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a... 
big old home cooked meal, all right? <clears throat> Come on. Watch out for that. What's the problem? Nothing. No problem. Then come on. Russ, come on. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me. You got it. All right. We're gonna be fucking quiet. We're gonna sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. I see him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. I think I saw a guy. No shit. here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please just get the fuck out of here. Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Are you serious? <sighs> Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up! There are real fucking monsters out there! No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see! Fuck you, Nate! I saved your ass! You didn't do shit! Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on! Can we still be friends? No. Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Are the claws lobster size or human size? Human size? Can make this easy on you. Well... I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Both. Both? The whole point of the game is to choose. But they're both such attractive options. Yeah, you got me there. Okay, how about... Oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. 
You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. But uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... <coughs> you know. Thanks, jerk. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Oh, to remind me how hideous I was. Nah. Make sure you keep on keeping on. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm a real poster child. I could see you on a brochure. Oh, like the ones at the dentist? Before and after, with the puffy face and the yellow teeth? Just look at her now. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? I know. God, Leland, thank you. Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters. Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. <laughs> Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Don't I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your, uh, girlfriend, but, uh, we gotta get moving. Does she think we... So, where'd you get the bag, D? D? D, did you hear me? What's in the bag, D? I told you, it's a surprise. Hey, D, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, D, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, Dee, you gotta give us more than that. Did you steal it? What? Dee, Bonnie's right. If you stole that bag, we need to know. You don't gotta make no big deal out of it. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go, every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. Dee. But you are the one who made me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now we're standing in this goddamn rain. You're gonna draw if we did from my own no place. place. You listen to me now. I have had it up to I here with listening to you. To blaspheme. I can't believe you are still religious. Oh, forget the both of you. I'm leaving. Don't leave, please. We can sort this out. Oh, Lord, give me strength. We'll straighten this out. We will. Right, Dee? We, we can solve this out. We just need to get somewhere else. Oh, now you agree with me. Bonnie, darling, I'm, I'm sorry we're... Darling! Dee, come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours, too. Dee, now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. I refuse to get in the middle of this. Well, too bad. You already are. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Stop going so fast! Ah! I'm pulling back ah! here!
Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. for me. for me. Never trusted you. Just, just chunky. Leland, she, she did this to me. I, God, I'm so sorry. So, I can't. Oh God, God. I knew you'd fuck up again. Take him. I, I, 
no. God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. And there you wanted him. Didn't thank you. Help the stones. Leland is just a friend. I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God. You fucking junkie. Spread out. It can't be far. Dee. Dee, did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? God, what happened? Oh, Jesus, oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, Dee. Darling, what happened to you? I had to. I, I thought you would... What do you mean, Bonnie? What was that you just said? It really was an accident, Leland. It, it really... You did this? You did this to my Dee? She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Levin. Bonnie. Back this way! Oh, no! You're going! Which way? There! I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. This way. We can't stay here forever. I think I saw something over here. They went this way. What the hell are you doing? If she's gonna die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this? What do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I wanted to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? <laughs> if Roman approves it, I don't see why not. It seems like fun. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. 
You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Hey, Becca. Think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. This hasn't worked in a long time. Smells good. Next time we venture out for supplies, I gotta remember to look for light bulbs too. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. It's not an animal, Roman. Well, it's not human either. Not anymore. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. I know, I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... After a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here! Everyone! Shit! Come on, we gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. If so, care we will. Jesus! Largum. My God! Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrist. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. You have a point. I don't know. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. It's gotta be one or the other. We are letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We can't take the risk. We kill him. There's gotta be another way. Tell me. What if he comes back? With weapons, or, or a gang? Is it worth losing any one of us? Jesus, there really is no other choice, is there? We can't keep him here, and we can't let him go. Let's mop them. If there's even it's a so chance of him coming back, or telling folks that might try to hurt us, we can't risk it. I won't ask you to watch, but if we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, 
Gonna be one of you pulling that trigger. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. Well, Roman's too focused on making sure no one's able to break in again. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time. Roman isn't taking any chances. And he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Is this about Becca? Just come see me. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. <clears throat> How come no one's watering these? Hey. Shell, it's Stephanie. What? Roman's got her locked up like some kind of animal. They said she was trying to escape. They actually used that word. Escape. Boyd. Calm down. I knew something like this was going to happen, Shell. I said if we killed that man, we were heading down a dangerous path. And now look where we are. I'm gonna go talk to Roman. No, no, just take Becca and get out of here. You know I can't do that. Things are good here. We just have to stick together and follow the rules. Just don't do anything stupid. <coughs> Looks nice, Boyd. Thanks. Hey, I heard about Stephanie. Why did she have to do that? We're safe here. There's no reason to want to leave. I'm sure she had her reasons. I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good. You're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You said that next time it'd have to be one of us. 
You went along with it last time. You weren't convinced it was the right thing to do. Now I need to know that you're with us. A hundred percent. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Because this place isn't safe anymore. Ever since we killed that stranger, things have been different. Roman's not trying to protect us anymore. He's trying to control us. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Ugh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. Just want to get it over with. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! Shell, be safe. Oh, Stay safe. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. God damn it! You were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Well, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. Of course.
far, so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you- Bits! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought... You know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Hold up. We don't know what kind of people we're dealing with. I don't want to get stuck with some crazy asshole like Russell did. I walked away from that shit, Wyatt. And that dude was crazy from Jump Street. Look, we need people. Plain and simple. You folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. It's following her that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. Guys, trust me. We need to get to this place. Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah. I'm going. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. Some of you may have been separated from friends or family. It's a long shot, but there's a chance you could find them there. Have your people been through Statesboro? Yes, I think we have. Okay, but I swear to God, if you try anything, you're gonna regret it. Yeah, and if you're not lying, maybe... Maybe Eddie will be there. We'll do everything we can to help you find your friends and family. But understand that I can't promise anything. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? <laughs> this is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out?
you don't. 